OpenAI just launched Sora 2 and Sora 2 Pro. Sora 2 is free to use and Pro version has $200 price tag and only available for Pro accounts. Sora 2 Pro has higher resolution generations and you can generate videos up to 15 seconds. Watermark removal is still not possible. You can see the comparison for the same prompt between Sora 2 and Sora 2 Pro for your reference. Sora 2, on the other hand, brings voices, improved physics, sound effects, cameos, and a new app. Still thin, come on, reduce. Just give me one minute. Whoa, flames high. Keep it moving, keep it moving. I'm plating now. Fish down, vegetables, greens don't fall apart Be on high. me. One touch of the herb oil, that's it. Five. Breathe. Five. The sauce is coming together. Smoke's creeping up on you, buddy. Watch that pan, it's about to torch. I got it, I got Whoa, it. Oh, fire. Pull it back, Let cover somebody it. Somebody grab the salt, it's flaring up. I can't see my Flip board down, with all the smoke. Kill the flame, nice and easy. Is it better than VO3? And most importantly, is it now a direct competitor to TikTok and Instagram? Grab some popcorn and let's unpack. So Sora is suddenly usable, remixable and fun. It seems Google's VO3 launch in May with a 8 second videos with integrated audio was a big driver for OpenAI to compete. Text video is looking really promising for Sora for creating quick meme-worthy clips. You've been standing here a while, do you know what this line's for? Uh, no, I just arrived here and there was this queue, very long. I thought maybe it is for something cool, so how you say, joined. How long have you been out here? Eh, uh, maybe two hours, something like that. And what are you waiting for? You no, know, I don't really know. Everybody, they stand here, I stand too. Maybe it is a new sneaker, maybe a sandwich, I don't so know. So you just joined the line? Yeah, why not? Do you know what it's for? Not really. My coworker texted me, said it was worth it, figured I'd check it you out. Know, it is quite long, yeah. Do you know what it's for? Actually, no. People were standing, so I also stood. I thought maybe some free tickets or something nice, but... Plus, you can just give it an idea and it does the heavy lifting. Perfect for sparking creativity when you are stuck. Whoa, SpongeBob, it's glowing! Is it supposed to do that? Absolutely, Patrick. A perfect polymerized jelly lattice. Careful with it. One wrong move and we're mopping soup off the ceiling. Uh, like that? The hottest feature is, of course, cameos. Cameo feature lets you add yourself or friends to AI-generated content, of course with some safeguards. With Cameos, OpenAI solved consistent realism problem. Yes, we had some other solutions in the market when it comes to consistent characters, but Sora 2 brings something new to the table. Real or TikTok-like feeling of realism with your own face. So it brought AI videos closer to the mainstream videos we saw on social feeds. And this solution will potentially create new problems. Don't leave anything you see on social media anymore. By this move, they became a direct competitor to not just to Google, but also to TikTok and Meta. Will it work as a standalone AI native social network? That's the big question. Let's cover the basics. Sora 2 has a web version and an invite on the iOS app for now, and Android app will come later. It's only available in US and Canada for now, but as I'm living in Europe, I was able to access it via VPN. And frankly, I found my invitation code on OpenAI's Discord server. So many people share their codes there, and I'm really grateful for this. But once a code is shared, you need to be quick because it gets immediately invalidated. Sora 2 creates 10 seconds long 480p AI videos from prompts or photos, meaning you can write a short prompt or upload a photo. You can come right here to the prompt box and just describe what kind of video you want to have. Additionally, using plus button here, you can actually add images and then tell Sora to create a video, for example, with the character there, but photos can't contain real people. You can use, for example, pets or location or objects, but that's all. When you click on prompt box, the cameos appear hovering on top of it. You can simply pick someone and just describe what you want to have in this video with this person and it will create an AI-generated content with my face. The cameo creation process is pretty straightforward. After you hit the plus button here, all you need to do is recording a very short 5 seconds long video of yourself. You will see some on-screen instructions like turn right, look up, look down. And Sora app within seconds will create a digital twin of you. I recommend you to have a simple background. And it's also important what you are wearing because in the most of the videos, it will just use the t-shirt or piece of clothing that you are wearing while creating your cameo version. And you control who can use your cameo. You can decide only me, approved creators, mutuals, or everyone. So there are a bunch of options here. And not everything is perfect and seamless, of course. Here, for example, I use two cameos together, myself and Sam Altman's cameo. 
and it did an okay job with my face. There is actually a slight change on my face as well. And it did a very good job with Sam Altman. But for example, it changed my hairstyle. My hair looks like Sam Altman's hair. And this whole thing looks like things got a little bit mixed up. And this is something you need to know that if you use two cameos together, it can be some problems. This is one of the best ways to use cameos. You can create personalized birthday shoutouts for your friends with their names and everything on the screen. Merhaba Thea, I just want to take a moment to wish you a very happy birthday. May your day be filled with laughter, good health. And so I think this is a very good use case that you can leverage your digital twin. Next thing I want to show you is using references. So by clicking on the plus button and picking a photo, you can use this character as a reference. The thing is, it's not allowed to use realistic looking faces, but you can use cartoonish faces and also your pet's face. After that, you can simply just describe what you want to happen in the video. And in the end, it's gonna do a pretty good job giving you a video with the reference character, your pet, in it. Additional to that, you can also use locations as a reference point. It won't be 100% accurate if you use this way but it's gonna be still a solid workflow. Every video has watermark at the moment, and hopefully OpenAI will allow an option to remove this watermark soon. You can remix videos similar to TikTok's duets feature, but with AI-generated media. And only thing you need to do is clicking on remix and describing what kind of change you want to have in this video. You can say, for example, make it in German, and then it will create a version of this video where King is speaking in German. I am in Traum, that Manchester City in the League One. Sora 2 leans into community and connection. Sora 2 is social by design. For example, by remixing your friend's content using AI, you can create a chain of incredible videos with slight changes in them. Take a look at this. And then someone else remixed it this time with Zelda and Link. This video started as the first thing and then it continued with different remixed versions. You can see like people are creating tens of hundreds of different remixes. It's frankly so much fun. Sora 2 Pro is your marketing team's wet dream. It can generate HD content for social media with your brand. Take a look at this. Make an ad for a Starbucks car. Morning Rush, meet your happy place. The Starbucks Drive, an all-electric crossover built for coffee people. Pair your commute with your favorite order, ready the moment you pull up. Grande oat milk latte? Every detail, from copper accents to a built-in brew station, designed to make... And with the launch of Sora 2 Pro, now Promptbox has a new section. You can switch between Pro model and non-Pro model. And you can still pick your cameos right over the prompt box here if you want to use yourself or someone else. And under settings, now if you pick Soto 2 Pro, you have possibility to generate standard or high resolution videos and duration can be extended up to 15 seconds. It's really amazing that you can create cinematics with you as a main character. And now with Soto 2 Pro, you can even generate breathtaking HD videos. One of the best ways to leverage Sora 2's cinematic capabilities is using this prompt format with a trailer option. If you start your prompt with cinematic trailer, then Sora 2 will give you a bunch of videos who looks like trailer, some with action, some with close-up or wide angles, and you can just stitch them together and create something really, really cinematic looking. The second amazing cinematic feature impressed me about Sora 2 is something called Storyboard the Finished Film. You can click on plus button on Sora 2, upload a storyboard. Like you can see, this is a storyboard about a film, a sea monster attacking a ship. Then you can type, create a cinematic photorealistic film scene based on attached storyboard. If you want an HD result, you can pick Sora 2 Pro and then hit generate. And then Sora will create a finished end result who looks like a cinematic scene with the voice effects, music and everything based on the storyline in this storyboard. So it's possible to create built-in dialogue, sound effects and music in Sora 2. For dialogue, you can write exactly what you want characters to say. Start and use short phrases first because similar to VO3, Sora still struggles with long, fast conversations. 
things just get mixed up and you don't need to pick one over another. Model is able to add synchronized audio effects, dialogue, as well as music all together. Of course, it can be some mistakes, but still it's so much fun. You can change also voice effects. For example, you can say voiceover with old wise voice in the background says this. The cool thing is, yes, Sora 2 makes mistakes, but it actually understands very well the local context. I'm telling you, this is our dessert. Baklava is Turkish. We invented it in the palace kitchens. Your kitchens borrowed it from the Byzantine Greeks, my friend. Philo and honey were ours long before the so Ottomans showed up. who gets the credit? Up. You both... Similarly, in Sora 2, you can use historical figures, important events and moments. What in blazes is this? The Churchill? Yes, sir. House cocktail. Named after you, actually. You have the gall to plaster my name on a glass of syrup and gin. Remove it at once. I'm not a beverage. I'm... Brush strokes. I'm on And I'm the girl with the pearl earring. <laughs> Today's guests know them from that windy bridge in Norway, the one with the iconic hands. Yep, that's them. First cup of hot tea. Where does David ask for it? Hopefully this video was truly helpful for you. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more in-depth tutorials. If you want to learn more about future of AI storytelling, click here.